Welcome back to the Free Melon Society. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Eli and today we've got a fun little experiment that you guys can do at home. So it turns out that uh, if you want to simulate what happens in the stomach to an item of food, then what you can do is you can throw that item of food into a pot of boiling water, boil the hell out of it for a long time. I'll show you how to do that in the video. And the end result simulates what happens to the piece of food in the stomach. Now, of course, the stomach is a much, much more complicated system than a pot of boiling water. You're going to have so many other types of digestive and chemical enzymes that are working on the food substance not only with heat but with you know the hydrochloric acid and and, and you know the bile and all, whatever all the stuff that that goes on in the system that goes down to breaking down food yeah you don't get that with this experiment however what you do get to see in this experiment though is you do get to see the end result the end product of that particular item of food after it's been extremely broken down all of its all of its bonds are, are broken apart and it's it's just left with this residual mass and that residual mass again is similar to what you can find in in the stomach so anyway i've already shot this video so i'm just re-uploading it here so i'll let my old self take it away if you're the kind of person that's ever thought hmm Gee, I wonder what happens to a piece of flesh as it's digesting in my system. Well, this experiment's going to be for you, because you're going to see exactly what happens when a piece of meat digests in your system with this very simple home experiment. Okay, so we're almost ready to go. Uh, as you can see, I've got a piece of chicken carcass inside this pot, and the water is getting warm. It's not quite boiling yet. Now I'm gonna have to let this sit here for a little while, and I'm gonna come back to it. Eventually, you'll be able to see what happens to this uh, to this carcass as um, as it's digested in the system. Okay, so we're about 20 minutes in. Let's let it go for a little bit longer and see what happens. Okay, we're at about 35 minutes. I've had to uh, add some more water to the mix because all the water evaporated. So we're at 35 minutes and counting. We're at an hour and a half now. We want to keep breaking that meat down, keep breaking it down, keep breaking it down until we find what's left. Okay, so that should be enough time. So it's been going for about almost two hours. So now we're going to turn off the heat and we're going to leave it and we're going to let it settle. And in the morning when we come back, we're going to see what this looks like. And you're going to be surprised. Okay, so it's morning time and we're going to uncover the lid. Let's take a look at this. I want you to notice something. This substance that has been left over, okay, from the cooking slash digestive process, that substance, okay, what does that substance look like to you? It looks like, uh, it looks like, like mucus, right? It looks like, uh, like the kind of stuff that you'd expel from your nose, you know, when you're, when you're sick or whatnot. That is because when a carcass is digested by the human organism, by the human digestive system, our system is not capable of breaking down efficiently this carcass so that this mucus residue is expelled uh, properly. The slimy type of mucus residue that this leaves over, that in your system will ferment, it will decompose, become sour, it will be the cause of odor, any kind of odor in your body that is unpleasant. The sliming of the internal system by eating foods that leave this mucusy type of sticky slimy residue, that serves as a breeding bed for harmful bacteria and infection and whatnot. Okay, so let, let's see if we can take a good look at this here. You see that? Okay, you see that slime, right? Okay, so that that slime is what you're subjecting your system to. Now, as long as the system is harboring this type of mucusy residue in the internal tissues, it will never be able to, to function as efficiently as possible. See that very sticky jelly-like substance, right? It's not even falling from the spoon. It's, it's adhesive. Now, if you're in the routine of eating carcasses, then your system is completely, completely overrun and slimed down by this type of mucus. And at one point or another, this, this will cause problems unless unless eliminated and that there is why you get the occasional cold um, because the body at, at some point it just goes into crisis mode and it just needs to get rid of as much of this as it can not in so doing it can't get rid of all of it that requires systematic detoxification but you never put this stuff in your system then you'll have much less purging to do this is the constant battle that the body is burdened with is the elimination of these uh, types of um, mucus forming foods See that? 
right? What is that? What is that? Next time you're sick and you cough up a ball of nice, gross ball of phlegm, compare it to this picture, right? Tell me if there's a similarity. Your body does not digest this properly. Our systems are incapable of dealing with the mucousy slime that I'm holding in my spoon right now. Our systems are incapable of dealing with the mucousy slime that I'm holding in my spoon right now. Like I said before, this is what is going to ferment, become sour, it's going to decompose, and this stuff can stay in your system for ages ages rotting and creating and forming pus acne you know you know the pus that you have in like a pimple an acne pimple okay that, that's this it's decomposed flesh it's decomposed mucus matter either from meat or from other starchy foods like uh, rice and wheat and whatnot that's what it is that's what you're eating see that sticky right, there it goes it's a slime right You want that in your system? I don't know. I personally don't. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And obviously, what I'm saying here is going to be <laughs> very controversial. Many people are going to, you know, deny that uh, that this uh, this substance has anything to do with their with their sickness. And and I'm sure many will believe that this is this is healthy, right? People think that that this that I'm holding in my spoon is is healthy. That you can eat a, a cadaver and and not have it affect you in a in a negative way. The science speaks for itself. I'm, you know I'm not going to get into it now because that's not the purpose of this video. But the purpose of this video, look at this, is to show you that <laughs> this sticky mess is what you put into your system whenever you decide to eat the already rotting, decomposing body of a, another organism, another animal. You get that. And this, imagine this, I want you to imagine this coating your intestinal tract. Just, just walls and walls and lines and lines of this gooey, sticky substance lining your GI tract. Okay? That, it, well I got news for you, if you eat this, this is what your GI tract looks like. It looks like a slimy mess. It won't be just smooth walls of endothelial tissue. It'll be coated with this slime. And you can be guaranteed that this is what's going to get you your symptoms you know, whatever they are. It's, uh, you get rid of this, this slime and you're gonna see that those problems stop afflicting you. <laughs>